In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of differentiability. The problem says, if fx is differentiable at x is equal to a, find the value of this expression. This question was asked in the state board examination in the year 1996 in set C. Now let's start with the solution. I write the heading as solution and we are basically going to start with it. The expression is given to me. Let's see the expression later. First see what is else given to you. Differentiable at x is equal to a. That means limit x tends to a f of x minus f of a upon x minus a exists finitely. Now if this exists I can always say that I can easily with this knowledge find out what? Find out the expression. This actually is equal to nothing but f dash a. Now, I have been given this expression. Let's write the expression again. It says limit x tends to a x square f a minus minus a square f of x minus a square f of x and we have something in upon also upon x minus a. This is the expression. Now in order to find out the value of that, we will be able to find out only when we use the above knowledge. Above knowledge means we should have fx, fa and something should be come out in the form of this expression only. Let's do one thing. Let's make some manipulation ourselves in order to suit our interests. It is x square fa. Let's add and subtract a square f a. What will happen? We'll see. And rest is same. This is the only thing that I have done. A square f a has been added and subtracted. Denominator does not change. Now why we did this? What help did we search out? We saw that this thing can be taken out as common f a from here and a square from here. So the next step is limit x tends to a f a is common it is x square minus a square upon x minus a. Let me separate the denominator with the different terms. Then it is plus. Then it is a square common. Inside is f of a minus f of x upon x minus a. And limit can always be taken separately. It is limit x tends to a here. Here also we can take limit x tends to a. I hope this makes sense. Now x square minus a square is basically the formula of a square minus b square which is a plus b a minus b. So certain things gets cancelled and we are left with x plus a right because x minus a will be getting cancelled with x minus a. So it is limit x tends to a f of a and again it is x plus a here. So let's write down limit separately with it also limit x tends to a x plus a right then we have plus f of a minus f of x is there but it should be f of x minus f of a much better right let's take minus sign common so plus minus becomes minus so it is minus a square and then we have limit x tends to a inside is again f of x minus f of a upon x minus a right now we have something we've reached some level like here we started with this expression and we had to attain a value the value limit x tends to a f of a is what it is nothing but f of a only next is what limit x tends to a x plus a put the value direct substitution a plus a gives me 2a so it is 2a Next, minus a square. So write minus a square. Next, limit x tends to a f of x minus f of a upon x minus a. If I name this equation as 1, you see that this value is same. Same means I can substitute f dash a directly. So I just write f dash a. And this is from 1 and that is my final value. My final value is f of a multiplied by 2a minus a square f dash a f of a here and rest everything there. So this question was dedicated to the concept of differentiability and it had been asked in a previous year examination.